Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Primal Edu World, your quick and easy online guide to computer tips and tricks and learning coding. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe now and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you are the first ones to get notifications of all my upcoming videos. Friends, in today's video, we will learn about VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. The only basic difference between VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP is that VLOOKUP works when the table is vertically set up and HLOOKUP works when the setup of the table is horizontal. By using HLOOKUP, we we'll get exactly the same result but the table is arranged differently. Now, let's look at the formulas. As you can see in our Excel sheet here, we have a master inventory table which is arranged vertically. Suppose we want to find the quantities for product 107 in our stores. We enter the product code in our inventory status check. Now, place your cursor under store 1. Click on insert function. Since I've already used some functions, it is showing them here. So, in order to make you understand this better, I will change the category to all so that it shows us all the functions that are available in MS Excel. Now, in search for a function, go and click type VLOOKUP and say go. It will show us the function VLOOKUP. Say OK. Now, a function arguments dialog box is opened. Here, we'll enter some values. The lookup value is the product code that we are looking for. So, click on your product code. Next is table array. But first, we'll make this value absolute by selecting the value and pressing F4. As you can see, a dollar sign has been added before each character. Table array is the range of the entire table. So, we select the entire table. It gives us the entire range. We'll make this also absolute column index number looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table and then returns a value in the same row from a column you specify so for we look up our product code is the heading column which is one so store one will be two so we type two here Range lookup will be 0 for false or exact values. Click OK. It gives us the quantity for store 1 for product 107. Now, if you simply drag your cursor to the right, it will copy the same value for the other two stores, which is not right. So, we go back to store 2 and open the functions arguments box and all you need to do here is change the column index number. So for store 2 it will be 3 and say ok. Our value has changed to 30 which is correct. Similarly for store 3 we will change the column index number to 4 and ok. So it gives us the value for store 3. Now let's check another product. Suppose we want to check product 102. Copy this and paste special values. You can see it is giving us the values for product code 102 in our stores which is 150, 135 and 120. So our formula is working fine here. Now let's check H lookup. Here you can see the table is arranged horizontally. Now Suppose we want to find the values for product 102 in our stores. We enter the product code PC102. Place your cursor in store 1. Insert functions. Again, it will show you all the functions. Say all and just type HLOOKUP. Say go. It gives you H lookup. Click on OK. Just like V lookup, enter the values. 
lookup value is your product code just click on the product code here make it absolute by pressing f4 table array again is the entire range of the table make this absolute row index number looks for a value in the top row of a table or array of values and returns the value in the same column from a row that you specify so under h lookup our product code is row 1 so store 1 will be row 2 we click 2 here we type 2 here range lookup is again 0 for exact or false values click on ok it gives us the value for store 1 for product 102 which is 150 again drag your cursor it gives you the same values which is just copy which is wrong so just like in vlookup go back to store 2 open functions argument here change the row index number so for store 2 the row index number will be 3 say ok it gives the value for store 2 which is 135 similarly for store 3 change the row index number to O and say ok it gives us the value for store 3 now let's check another product say PC105 copy paste special values as you can see it is giving us the values for product 105 in our stores hope you found this video useful if you like this video please do like share drop in comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel stay tuned for many more interesting videos thanks for watching